Hello. Okay, so the So What box, um, the So Spring. This this tutorial is for Tori. It's a simple way. I have to admit, I didn't even look at their um, video. I just went with it. I read the thing and I was like, eh, no. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to fold your smaller piece. You'll have two smaller pieces. Okay. You'll have the two smaller pieces and the outer piece. It doesn't matter what they are. Just cut them from the pattern. Then your one that's going to actually go up against the mug, whatever you're going to have it. This one's going to be inside touching the mug. And I have this one, which is going to be the bubbles. Okay, or the little pockets. So I want you to take the one that's going to show on the outside of the mug, and I want you to fold it in half and iron it, and then fold it in half so you're quartering it. And what we're interested in is these um, creases, the pressed creases. It's all we need. Okay, this other one that's the same size as this one that's going to be up against the mug, you're just going to iron. <laughs> okay, um, I do starch mine. Now, here's the trick. Starch will leave white flakes if you don't wait for the bowl to go up. Okay, so when starching cotton, the easiest thing to do is starch it from the back. The little white flakes, if there's any, they're stuck to there. You don't see them. If you're doing a dark um, cotton, they tend to show up more, especially on solids. So if you do it to the back, even if they show up, it doesn't matter because it's going to be on the inside. So always start your clothes or your um, fabrics from the back and you avoid a bunch of stuff. So, all right, then you're going to take your big piece, and this is a lot of folding, but you got this. So, you're going to, I starched it flat, then I folded it in half long way. Then I once again folded it in half and folded it in half again so that you have a quarter. And again, we have these pressed uh, creases. I don't know why I have a hard time with that. I, I want to always call them seams, but they're creases. So then you're going to open this up and you're going to start to pin. And we're going to make five stitches. So basically, you're going to line this is going to be the bottom, and you're going to line this folded one up, and you're going to put the two center creases together, and you're going to sew that. Then you're going to pop over here and you're going to line up the edge and you're going to sew the edge. Then you're going to push this down and you're going to line this center one up, the fourth and the fourth, and you're going to sew that. So you'll literally just have um, one, two, three, four, five creases, five seams. Okay, now this one's just in together because I want to show you the next step. So pretend that this is sewn and not just pinned. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to the machine and do both of them all at the same time. Uh, but pretend that you've got your four. Then you're going to take this little pocket. It's going to look like this. Okay, let me take this out. Okay, so you're going to have your seams and it's going to be open. And this is going to be a bubble. You're literally just going to push that out and you're going to eyeball it to make two little bitty creases. See that? And then... We're going to pin it in place. Okay. And once it's pinned in place, you're going to have all these little ones. Pretend that the other ones aren't there. The next step will be to put your elastic. I see elastic. I push my elastic. <laughs> Okay, here they are. I have my elastic. Um, so then you're going to take and you're going to put one elastic up. I don't know. Um, I'm just guessing. I really, I eyeball so many things that it's not even funny. I think I'm going to put mine just right above where this is sewed. So I'm going to guess maybe half an inch. 
um, oop, make sure that you put it. So you're just going to pin it wherever you want it. Okay. If you want it up higher, if you want it down lower, the easiest thing to do is go get whatever mug you plan on putting this on, measure the handle and you want it right above the handle and right below the handle. So, um, if you have a mug in mind, you might do that. And then you're going to, once you get your two elastics on here, where you want them, you're going to take this back piece and you're going to put it over it and you're going to sew this seam. Now there's a reason that we're leaving the other two open. Okay. Um, when you have that done, you then have to take the elastic and stretch it over here. You don't have to stretch it. Okay. You're going to take the other end. So let me get to that part and I will show you how easy it really is because it's sounding hard, but it's not. You're going to do two sides, same elastic. It'll be easy. Hold on. We'll get to it. Okay. So I've got all my pockets. So I don't have my threads trimmed. Okay. But it'll get there. Um, I've got all my pockets. I've got my one side with my two little things and I just guess put them where I wanted them. Um, I wanted most of the weight to be on this one. So I put it right at the seam line. Um, and then this one, of course, I wanted it to hold where the weight disperses here. So that was my reasoning on them. Now you're going to have it like this. You're going to pull this over and you're going to put it the same way. So I'm going to put it right above the seam line and it's literally going to fold this thing in half. And then you're going to put this at the same spot and put your pin through the elastic to hold it in place and so you're going to secure it there. Then you're going to do the same thing here and it's going to make this look funny, but that's okay. Um, we want to make sure that we're trying to get them it's about the same spot. I mean, you don't want them crooked or anything. So um, if you really want to get technical with it, yes, you could do a measuring tape and all that. But these are quick and easy projects for me. So, all right, then you're going to leave this all bubbled out like this. And you're going to go and sew along this. So I'll come back just as soon as I get that done. And I'll show you how to finish it up. Okay, now we're going to do the bottom thing. And this elastic is kind of going to be in the way, but not really. You're going to do it in inches. And you're going to push that elastic up out of the way. Okay, up in there. And then you're going to sew, I don't know, one or two inches you can do without stressing the elastic. And you're going to sew down this side. Then you're going to wait and you're going to push it back up. And you're going to pull the elastic on through so that you have more to work with. And this you'll do all on your machine. It's super simple. I know it looks hard, but it's not. Okay. So then you're going to do that. Once you get that one done, it's literally a matter of doing the same at the top, but I left more um, space at the top. So it's, but you're going to leave a spot open at the top. So you can turn it all right side out. Once you turn it all right side out, you're done. So, uh, and then you're going to, top stitch it all down nice and pretty of course I came back just to show you this is the bottom and it does look all cattywampus but you'll see that it's in the right place now we're going to do the same thing to the top here starting with this little corner and remember to leave an opening and push that elastic down out of the way and you're going to leave an opening and then we will turn it so I'm going to start here do about halfway then I'm going to turn this and do this one and do this side about halfway and pretty much it's going to look like a big old thing like this <laughs> just a second okay so one of the things that i'm not saying a whole lot about is trimming um you guys know to trim your threads trim your corners but don't cut your seams um the trimming stuff i'm not covering that that's kind of everybody kind of knows to do that so that you don't end up with a lot of bulk so um, anyway, uh, go. all right, so I'm going to trim my four corners. And it does look all kind of wadded up, 
all that stuff. But give me just a second. Tramp. And with it wadded up like this, you kind of got to dig for those corners. Um, just saying. It's clipped. I've lost one. I've only done three. Ah, there it is. Okay. And this just cuts down on the bulk in the corner, so lay flat. All right, so I've got my opening. I've done my thing, and now I'm literally going to just shove everything through that opening. And I will show you. It is super cute. And it just goes on a mug or a coffee mug or a stein is what they showed it, you know, like one of those big steins. But <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, and I have a string. This is apparently I got one of the little strings through the fabric. That's okay though. Okay. And here we are. There it is. Ah! And all you have is this little um, one up here. You're going to iron everything out because you've got your little thing. Uh, you're going to trim your little threads. And you're going to poke the little hole. I don't have my stick to poke down in there. But normally I have a little stick and I poke all my little corners out. I'm just going to use my finger real quick. All right. So then you're just going to press it. And I guess you really don't even have to do that. I prefer to press things because I want this to go away. All right. And then I'm going to do a top stitch across here to seal up that hole that we left. Um, probably going to press it. And I'll show you on it on a mug here in just a minute. Okay, so I pressed it, seamed the top. You can see the seam right up there, everything. Okay, I do have a string. <laughs> Thread. I don't know where it came from. Okay, so I would say um, this is a coffee cup and it is a little bit big. It is an oversized coffee cup, but remember these are shown on a stein. A big mug stein type thing you probably will want to adjust your uh, elastic if you decide what mug you want it on first but anyway you can take and put your little things in here yeah and you have you know um what else have I got in here I can put in here oh, scissors are a little too long but uh, hole punch and I've got some markers and some pins and you can just yeah however you want but for if you're going to do a coffee cup you might want to shorten your elastic um yes these are supposed to be pre-cut kits it will probably work for a stein because the stein is very is is much bigger um for the for those that are wondering this kit says it takes two minute prep time 75 minute um creation time what y'all saw is pretty much it. I'm guessing it took me 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. And that was me stopping. And so, yeah, I guess 30 minutes because I haven't made the other one yet. Haven't decided if I was going to leave that one or not. But anyway, so I think my way is a little bit simpler. It does seem confusing with the elastic because the elastic's on the inside and it makes it all jumbled up for a little bit. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. So, yeah. It is cute. It is complete. I am going to go back and watch the video and see how they recommend doing it. But I do think my way is a lot quicker and just as cute as theirs. So, it is what it is. Bye. Thanks for watching.